<laughs> my wife's pet peeve at dinner is when I glance down at my phone to check Twitter. I try to be sly about it and do it like right under the table. My pet peeve is when she takes photos of her food. But then she points out how many other people do the exact same thing she's doing and put those photos on Instagram. So I lost that one, all right? Food photos are now a thing. So our photojournalist Mike Grady took his camera to meet a local Instagrammer at Blue Island Oysters to learn how to do it right. One of my favorite oysters that we have um, on the menu today. Maybe like this table would be good? I'm like super awkward with photos, I'm sorry. My real name is Gabriella, and my Instagram name is Mile High Munch. I specialize in taking photos of food and making people hungry. Pretty um, solely like on Instagram. 16.7K, so we're almost 17,000. Denver's food scene is just growing so much that I kind of capitalized on that and like the opportunity to kind of um, explore new restaurants all the time. Yeah, sometimes I like to do like action shots, like you're about to take a bite. The biggest thing is obviously natural lighting. For me, I love when I can shoot in natural lighting. I like to hold up the food like and like have it so the background's like kind of blurry and like hold it up and take a photo that way. That was always a good one. I like the contrast between the dish and the background and like this being in the forefront. On that one. This one looks really good with the mac and cheese. I think the lighting on this one is really good. You know, I think it's a good thing. It's encouraging people to appreciate the work that chefs put into their food. Yeah, I mean, there are gonna be those people that are giving you the side eye, definitely, but you know, just gotta do what you do. We're getting some good photos, yeah.